okay. Well, he, what what I will advise Nigerians is that um, we have gone all through the problems of development. You know, from the assassination of the prime minister, the, the premier, and uh, some senior military officers. And you know the consequences of that. So Nigeria went through everything, really. We fought a civil war for 30 years. I thank God I was able to survive it. I walked from Makadi to the end of Nigeria because every conceivable culvert and bridge were blown because there is a technology that is the explosive from Enugu mines and, and so on. So really, I went through the whole thing. And as I said, part of the qualification, I was in detention too for more than three and a quarter years. Mm -hmm. So really, um, I think um, Nigerians should try and keep the country together. We are lucky we have resources, we have the land. Let us go farming. Let us make sure we can feed ourselves. It's very, very important. And I really recommend that uh, the government invests, governments, you know, including the state government, invest more in farming and with technology. And now with technology, uh, um, you, you don't need uh, uh, to have the physical uh, position of cows and uh, you, and and flowers and so on. Yes. You know, one tractor can serve a whole district and so on and so forth. So with technology, I think we we should be able to produce more food and uh, uh, feed uh, our people, and then even export. Uh, you know, uh, the efforts made by respective governments and trying to make sure that we have grains reserve so that uh, if there is failure in the rainy season, <coughs> we can still feed ourselves. So I, I think um, Nigeria, we are very lucky. We have the land, we have the people, and we have the resources. And I hope we will live a better country for our children and grandchildren. Thank you very much. Well, thank you very much.